everybody, welcome back. Death Spider here, so we're going to get right into episode 6. So today I said the main goal is going to be going to get the large backpack, so we're going to get to jump right into that. Sorry I've been gone for a minute. I hope to get these videos out a few days ago. Um, anybody that knows my mom's had a stroke, so I've had to be back and forth trying to take care of her. Uh, with that said, though, let's go ahead and jump in here. So if you're butchering meat like or animals, you're going to get raw liver. You're going to want to cook your raw liver, and like especially meats and foods. If you make those, they'll give you better stats. So you, if you look over here by your stats at like your health bar, your stamina, and your water, you'll notice that there's a circle over here. And as that circle fills up, you can get plus one to your max stats. So if you're like me and you've died three times, you've lost three hit points to your to 100. And you can climb above 100. Uh, I believe the maximum is 200. It's been a while since I've hit max. So we'll get there eventually. But for now, I just wanted to go with that. So once this bar fills up, we'll get plus one to that. And to do that, you have to cook up specially foods. So let's go ahead and light this fire. And I can show you with the liver. I want to say they're plus 0 0.05 per liver. And we'll get our stats up. Then we're going to head north to the swamp, like we said last time, which is this brown spot towards the top of the map. I've already gone there and grabbed two crocodiles and brought them back using the truck. Like I said, one in the lap, one on the back. So we've got one here on the cart. And then we want to have one right here on the butcher table ready to go. Uh, to butcher these, make sure you have an axe or a knife on you and you can cut into them. Just look at them while they're on the table. And press E, you'll go ahead and butcher it. It'll give you a ton of meat. So we've got too much on us. We need to drop some of the meat off. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. We'll just set him on here for now. And then we're going to take all of our meat. Hopefully you have an extra crate like I do. So you have a place to put all of your extra meat. So we're going to store everything that's not liver. Yeah, we'll keep the vegetables on us for now. We're going to eat those in a second because we just slept so we can get our stats back up. Go ahead and grab this liver so we can cook it up too. Oh, looks like he's on top of it. So, <laughs> and we're a little bit heavy so that's because the croc skin weighs a ton. So we're going to drop that in here so it's near the loom. So that's two pieces out of the four that we need. And butchering the, the animals like that gives you a lot of bones too. So store that. Save your fat. I keep it in my med crate because you can use that to make tallow to make more meds. Uh, we did get hurt pretty bad last time we went, so we're going to take a med kit this time. We're using bone arrows in the bow to hunt them. All right, so we've got our liver cooked up. Let's go ahead and put these other two pieces down. We'll take these. Before we eat, we need to go wash our hands. Every time you butcher an animal, you're going to want to wash your hands. Otherwise, you have the chance of getting sick. If you get sick, as long as you have eggs, which we do, so we can actually go ahead and eat without washing our hands this time. But you'll need an egg to cure the illness. So let's go ahead and eat our cooked level liver. If you look at the bottom right there, you can see it says max health plus 0 0.05, max stamina plus 0 0.05. And that'll increase those bars so that we can get headed towards getting our stats increased. I'm going to go ahead and grab an egg just in case we get sick. And the rest of the liver finished up, so we'll put that in here. Eat that, make sure our proteins are up, get the stat boost. Because I don't want that sitting in a crate just rotting when we can take advantage of the stat boost. And then we'll eat all of our other nutrition stuff, dry goods first. All right, and then if you look in the lower left, you can see the crossbone and skull icon. So we're sick now. We'll eat an egg. It'll fix that. And we're good to go now. We'll just need to wash our hands before we eat again. And our water supply is looking pretty good since we ate so many watermelons. So we can actually wash our hands once we get down here by the river. Kind of cut me a little path to do just that. Of course, I forgot to grab my med kits. So let's grab one of the, uh, Let's go ahead and we'll use a small one and we'll take a large one with us. Well, actually, we'll take one of each. And make sure you bring extra gas just in case you run out. And we'll take the truck there because it's a pretty good trip and it's just faster and we can carry two mobs with us at once. So I like to come out here, hit the water, and then I'll drive till I hit the road and then go all the way up to the swamp. Like I said, we're going to wash our hands really quick. So we're going to pull over here, bring the truck to a stop, jump out, look at the water, wash hands. It'll get all the blood off of them so we can eat now without getting sick. And I'll catch you guys once we get to the swamp. Okay, so we're back at the swamp. You can recognize it again by the brown spot on the map or by the trees that grow here. They look like kind of like swamp trees, these cypress trees. Now, I like to get the truck as close as I can. Sometimes I'll park it in the water. Now the crocodiles can spawn behind you if you're not careful, so make sure you're looking around. And then you'll recognize them as soon as you see them. <laughs> They're not small. There's, I think there's one up there moving around. Hopefully there's one closer. Yep, there's one right there. So we want, I like to keep my distance and shoot them. It's going to take five to six arrows, depending on how you hit them. That's three, four... Five, and let's try to bait him to the truck a little bit closer. That way we don't have to carry him so far. And six. And like I said, they hit really, really hard. So they can almost two-shot you. Right, so while we're bleeding, let's go ahead and fix that. And you can see there's another one that spawned right where this guy was at. Make sure you get your arrows back. So we'll grab those. We'll actually sit this guy down just to grab him while we're right here. So these are bone arrows now that we're using. Like I said, I'd make in the last episode. They won't be destroyed, so it's a lot better than using stone. We've got 20 of these on us at the moment. So we'll take this one back, set him on the back of the truck. We'll use a med kit to make sure we keep our hit points up and can survive in case we let him get too close again. Lay him on the back tailgate. Let's grab one of these kits. See, we're at 47, so we'll just use one of the small ones. Oh, and there's one. He's already seen us. 
Let's get some distance. They are pretty fast. <laughs> Make sure you watch your stamina if you're trying to kite like this. Grab that, make sure we got all of our arrows back. It looks like we're good. And we're going to jump back in the truck, wiggle back out of the woods. It's uh, kind of hard to off-road in this thing, so you might want to bring an axe and clear you a path. And then we head back to base, skin these guys, and then we're going to make that large backpack, which will make life a lot easier. So we'll just jump in here. He's still in our lap. You have to kind of look out the window to see him. And I'll catch you guys once we get back and are ready to make the bag. So we got our two crocodiles back. And let's go ahead and grab our four skins, our two pieces of rope. Then we'll go come over here to the loom. And we'll say use the loom. We can put our croc skin on there. And we'll add our two pieces of rope. That's going to give us the large backpack. So you can see the small backpack now. And you know we can only hold 50 pounds. So let's go ahead and craft this and I'll show you the difference. So now that that's crafted, open your inventory. We now have the super size backpack. Makes looting and carrying stuff and building a lot easier. And we can hold up to 75 pounds if you look up here at the top. And that guys will make the game 100 times easier for you. Now, the only thing that we have left to do that really makes stuff easier is to get power and the water house running plus a greenhouse. And good old Mike, which we still haven't found yet. And there's a scorpion. <laughs> Of course. So we did kill a wolf over here. I'd like to kind of bring him back. Of course, we need to heal too. But that's how you get the large backpack. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Takes two trips in the truck to the swamp. Uh, probably about half a day. We're currently on day 15, lunchtime. So during this whole time in between trips, I've been keeping our mineral extractors full and filling them back up. I've removed the small stone off of them that we've gotten. And like I said, added oil to them so they'll keep running. So we're looking kind of decent. We're getting a little bit of iron ore built up. And if we check out this other one. You can get all three ore types, so you can see we have copper, aluminum, and cobalt. So just any one extractor in the cave will get you all three types. It's just you have to deal with the RNG on that. Any cave will do the same thing. So place one outside, you'll get iron, and then one inside, you'll get the rare ores. And just let it run while you're out looting, checking villages. And then just go back and forth. You can burst the rocks inside of here. The little black ones will give you coal. These regular looking rocks, if you smash those, uh, we've gone over before, but it has a chance to give you lead, clay, small stone, and iron ore. So now the goal is to go out and loot some more villages, try to get the last two blueprints that we need, or tech pages that we need to finish all of our tech and find Mike himself so he can start helping us. And I think I've decided I'm gonna build up there and check out what's on top of this mountain and we'll maybe put the main base up there on top of there, at least some kind of structure. I don't know, maybe two tier it. So we'll have the cave and we can tier it there and tier up there. It's gonna take a lot of building, take a lot of lumber and wood. Definitely got to get more workbenches. So we might go ahead and build us like a sawmill down here and just kind of fence it off. But from there, we're gonna go ahead and start our trip. So we're gonna to grab the truck, make sure we have gas, med kits, uh, maybe some extra weapons like spears. Definitely wanna bring your ax with you. And we're going to head down to this junction right here and then follow this road around probably circle back into here well actually yeah, instead of going down to this junction since we've already explored this road we'll come down here come down to this junction and then head down stop here loot whatever we can find there come all the way back to this junction to make sure we search this whole road and from there we'll start heading up and around check out this dead end and just make our way all the way back around and across the map it's gonna be quite the trip as usual i'll stop and we'll go over anything important and from that point on, all we have left to do is check these northern areas, which it actually might be better to do these first just because they're closer. So we'll see where we land. Like I said, we've got extra med kits with us. Uh, we should just need that one that should be enough to get us by. We can find food and stuff on the way. We have the crates for plenty of storage. I'll probably actually end up labeling these. So like this one, we can, you know, we'll just call this one ore. So we find ore, we'll put it in here. This one we'll call fuel. Just to keep things organized so when we do load the truck up, we don't have to go through every single crate and <laughs> like search through it for what we're looking for. So we've made it up here to this area here when I decided to come up here to finish these three spots on the map. This road dead ends. I don't see any houses yet. So we're going to have to get some high ground and look around us. But there is a cave right here, so let's go take a look at this cave, see what's going on with it. Of course, I save just in case we get wiped out when we go in here. So it's going to take me a minute to find it. I haven't been to this one yet. But this is a pretty level ground right here. Uh, nice close canyons in case you're looking for a spot like this to build in. I'm going to assume it's in here somewhere. That's probably it right there. I want to take a look over here at this side. Oh, nope. Uh, there could be multiple entrances too. Uh, we're currently out of stamina. Let's go ahead and eat some food while that builds back up. See, we need a little bit of meat. And then we'll take in some watermelon. That'll get our water back up. Now, some of the caves do have multiple entrances, like, okay, yep, right here. This must be what most people are calling the staircase cave. So we'll go up there in just a second. I want to see if there's any other way in or out first. 
Now, if you're in the caves and you don't see any rocks or anything on the ground like mushrooms just yet, give it a minute. Sometimes it takes a second for it to populate. All right, so yeah, it looks like this one has just the two entrances. So let's go ahead and head up these stairs that the dev put in the game and see what they lead to. This is not my favorite cave. Uh, like I said, I haven't been in this one, so maybe I'm wrong. But the other cave I like a lot, it, it's got some cool features to it besides the staircase. Now, this one is pretty nice. That's got a lot of trees up here. Looks like it'd be easy to defend that spot, especially if that's the only access to this area. Let's see, yeah, tons of rocks, lots of trees. Lots of canes you can build on top of. Yeah, so all in all, this is a nice little safe, <laughs> probably a semi-safe haven. So I'm going to go back out here. We're going to look around here a little bit more. Let me zoom in some. Yeah, so it looks like you have a whole plateau of area you could build on up there. There's a good little plateau here. Of course, we're stuck in this little spot. I probably need to try to get up there. There might be something there. I'm going to try to look around in here, make sure there's not any more buildings. Usually if there's a road, there's buildings of some sort. A quick note. So if you're going to be exploring and trying to check out all the surrounding cliff faces and everything else, you want to make sure you have at least one splint, if not more on you. And that's why I travel with an ax. So we're going to chop this tree down. We're going to grab these sticks to carry with us. I like to harvest or destroy these logs. I think the logs do now eventually disappear, but I like to go ahead and destroy them just in case they don't. And just one little tree is enough. So with that, you can actually come into your menu, click on your little book. Go to your medical stuff. And then right here, make a splint. It's two sticks, five plant fibers. And craft that. And that way, if we do fall off of one of these, we can just heal ourselves so our leg's not broken because that will slow you down drastically. Like you can't move. It's almost like carrying an animal. Of course, we're going to grab these cucumbers that we're passing by. Kind of want to climb to the top of this and take a look around if we can. Again, that's why we built the splint, just in case things go south. Okay, so we're still over here by the staircase cave. It's around that side. There's also another little canyon. It's super tiny. And then right here, there's a waterfall cave. So let's walk in here and check this out. See what we've got inside. Like I said, the devs added a lot of things to go and explore. A lot of new features, a lot of cool places you could try to build. So if you wanted to, you could build inside of here. I don't know if rocks spawn or not. We'd have to hang out for a second. But it's a really cool indoor waterfall. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool probably to build like a, a clear glass across the top so you can just look down on it. I see a clay rock, but I don't see anything other anything else crazy spawning. Uh, what this tells me is maybe he's getting ready to consider finally implementing some kind of storyline. So we're right here, kind of past and above the staircase or staircase cave so we explored all this i walked down this there's like another little cave there or actually two little caves uh before you get to this one if you follow this rock face uh, like i said you if you build up on top of these you can see there's trees and stuff over there that you could use to build with that path kind of goes up pretty high um there's a nice level spot right here like that whole area is really really level and it's like it has a nice little tight entrance there that you could wall off pretty easy could be a good place to build same thing up here pretty tight little area uh, it looks like we could maybe make our way around and over to that area and then this area is fairly level there's i've seen several animals in here trash panda a boar and lots of vegetables so we're gonna keep looking around i just wanted to show that in case somebody's looking for a really big decent flat area this one's probably a good one to choose and it's near the cave and we've made our way from that cave where our truck's parked right here all the way through all this again to right here where there's another nice waterfall feature and you can look down onto all the water below us like i said we'll go back in just a second hug this mountain and make our way back to the truck and then we'll head down here to this spot and if we have enough energy after that we'll head up here then to my favorite cave and i'll show you what it's like but there's this waterfall here it splashes down there runs down this to that nice pond so if you wanted to you could build here too most of this ground over here is really level again i haven't climbed all the mountain tops i do know there's like an invisible barrier once you get to these outer walls so building on top of those probably not possible i don't know we can try it eventually uh, it'd be kind of cool to build across here, put a bridge and go straight across into this area. But for now, like I said, we're going to circle back to the truck and start heading to the next village, or what I hope is a village. We made it back to the truck, and now we've moved down here to this, towards this dead end. Looks like another industrial area, so let's go ahead and check this out. Hopefully nothing crazy is in here. Like four or five buildings, so let's look around, see what we can find. Okay, everyone, we looked at, we did find something we're looking for, or someone. <laughs> it's good old Mike right here. Mike is sick and needs help. We need to get him back to base and take care of him. Then he's going to help us out. So he's usually located in one of these warehouse type buildings on one of these beds. So you can pick him up and carry him. It's just like carrying an animal. So then we have to slow crawl him back out to the truck. I don't know. Can we drop Mike? Yeah, we can. So we can drop Mike on the ground if we need to. I'm going to go ahead and carry him out to the street. And from the street, we'll just pull the truck up and we'll get a hold to him and load him up. All right. So with Mike, we'll just set him on the truck. He's going to ride back right here. <laughs> just like he's on a bed and just for looting purposes we're gonna go ahead and pull the truck in here a little bit farther so we're still in the same place where we found mike we just like i said we just pulled the truck up this building across from the warehouse that we found mike in there's a tech note in here on this table we're gonna grab that gave us the solar battery blueprint 
So we're one step closer to being done with all the blueprints. We should just now need the water house. Still have two buildings here, it looks like, and some enemies. Is that an encampment? Hopefully not. Just a quick little fight, nothing big, no big deal. Okay, so we went ahead and moved up here to the farthest location. I kind of like glanced around everywhere. In this area, I didn't find anything worth noting, in my opinion. So we're going to head to this cave, if I can remember exactly where it's at. Um, This is the one that I've been talking about a few times and mentioned that I think is pretty cool. That I'd like to build, I think, my main structure at, or my at least my first main base will probably get built. If I can find the entrance to the cave. Okay, here it is. So it's right off the dead end of the road. You I think we can see the truck from here almost. Let me see. Yeah, the truck's right there in front of us. And that's where the road runs out. So in this tight little crevice is the cave that I like. It's my personal favorite area that I've seen thus far. And I like it because of these glowy lights or floating leaves. I think they look awesome. I really like the way they... I don't know, it's just something different. So you walk up into here. This is a regular cave type area. Then here's the cave space itself. Looks a lot like the cave we're currently living in. Now we're just going to quickly check to make sure there's no other entrances. I don't believe there are. Like I said, I've been here before, but it's been a minute. So yeah, it looks like it's the same as the first cave that we're currently living out of. So we'll come back to the front, and this is the spot that I like, that I think would be a good place to build. It is on top of this ledge over here. So we came in through that crevice, so we're going to jump up here. Now if I turn my light off, you can see the fireflies in here. That's one of the other features I like. It just looks really cool. It's a nice lighting feature. And then with a little bit of uh, acrobats, you can jump up here. And come out the other entrance. We can turn this off in case anybody wants to check out the firelights. I think, like again, it's just really, <laughs> it's a really cool feature. Especially for it to be your home. It's like discovering something. So you walk through here. It leads you into here where there's an indoor waterfall, another awesome feature. I actually haven't tried gathering water here. Oh yeah, so we can gather water here too, so that's amazing. And since it's pretty dark, we'll go ahead and turn the flashlight back on. And then you can come out here and there's a whole plateau, so you have clay rocks. Again, direct entrance to a cave, so ore wouldn't be that far away, we'll just throw a ton of extractors in there. And they come out here, we have all these all the stone to work with. Tons of trees. And then this is just like a wide open plateau. Nice and level for the most part. Plenty of space to build anything and everything you need. And then we come out here, which is my, it's going to be hard to see because it's nighttime. I'll show you guys again later in daytime when I actually start building the main structure. So even this part is like, you can see how, like, we can squat down. You can see how level this is. Again, really nice place to build. I think it would be somewhat safe. I don't know how teleporting and all that stuff would work for the Vambies themselves. But in the daytime, you can see across like most of the map here. It's just really great. So there's the road below us. I'll show you on the map where we're currently standing is right here. And you just see all the way across and we can build like a ramp or something we need to to get our vehicles up here. Or we just teleport them using the garage. And it look like, looks like it wouldn't be too hard to build a bridge from here to there to go across this. So maybe we could just bridge across all the roads and make our way across the map with uh, several bridges so we can check out all the cliff faces so like i said there's plenty of space up here to do anything and everything you could really want to do like look at all this wide open space here smash these rocks out save that stuff to smelt some ore we'll have to figure out how the pathing is going to work for the vambies whether or not they're going to come straight in at us or not and let's go ahead and eat some of our food because we're getting low on energy we're gonna have to go straight back to base drop mike off I don't think I'm going to go ahead and cure him or take care of him just because I'd like to get a greenhouse and some other stuff set up first. So as you can see, we made it home. We went ahead and emptied the truck, so I pulled everything off of it, I believe. Let me double check. I don't think we have, oh, we've got some ore left. We'll take that and put that inside where it belongs. And if you notice, when we left, we had an extra fence piece right there and a spike. And we also had a mineral extractor here full of iron. <laughs> So I learned a hard lesson just now. I did hear when I passed the group earlier. So if you pass one of the little camps, I think the devs working on changing this a little bit. But when you pass a camp of Vambies, they will not chase you unless you're, I think, right within their line of sight. So if you pass them, say you're on a vehicle or something, they'll actually turn and run. And I've seen this in Chase down on uh, ATV when they did it. And they'll run to your base and they'll just start destroying stuff. So that's why we're missing the fence. That's why we're missing two spike traps. And that's why we're also missing our mineral extractor that we have placed right here. So they must have smashed that. So make sure you're emptying those regularly if you don't plan to be at home. That's also another reason I'm trying to finish collecting everything. So I went ahead and moved Mike in here. I just threw him on the law court for now. 
Like I said, I'm not ready to fix them because you need a lot of food to keep him going. So we're gonna wanna get the greenhouse up first. I went ahead and emptied this one in case it gets destroyed. We put that inside here. Again, made easy by the large backpack we now have. So now we have tons of ore. Again, I don't think this is gonna be my main base. So I'm not gonna probably build much more here, especially since I just lost this section. I think we'll probably go ahead and move back north or move up north where I wanted to move after we make this last outing. So we're gonna go ahead and do like I talked about. We're gonna cruise this coast, head towards this coastline over here. Uh, we'll fill the truck up, we'll sleep, get our energy maxed out so we can do this all in one go. I plan this. I plan on this being my last trip, short of coming back and forth to ferry things up here where I plan to build. And yeah, so we're gonna take this road, come down here, search this spot, search anything we find along the way, stop here, turn around, come back, uh, go up here, search that, and search anything we find along the way on this area. We'll check out this last cave I haven't been to yet. Actually, have we? Act we actually haven't been in this one either. So we might come down here and check this cave too, and just to see what it looks like. I still want to go to this island and this little island, get eyes on that, see if there's anything interesting out there. But for now, the last thing we're looking for is the tech blueprint page for the water house. So that's gonna be my goal now. And we'll close the video out once we find it and all the locations along the way. We'll, you know, obviously I'll cut those in for a few seconds. But like, hey, there's a village here. There's a town here. Uh, something interesting here. And that's going to be it. We're not going to keep searching every little nook and cranny. Just so we can get a base going and get Mike working so we can get lumber and stuff being produced by him. So that we can start making a build. Because I really like to check out some of the new features like the barn. I've yet to build a barn. So... <laughs> Yeah, we're just living out of this little hobble for now. I hope to see that change in just a minute. So I'll see you guys once we find something else. All right, guys. So I wasn't recording, but you can see this little campfire here. There was a camp of Bambies, and they're now headed to our base because I drove past them. So we'll see if we can catch up to them really fast. Yeah, you can see them uh, teleporting. and <laughs> I don't know if they're going to make it all the way doing that, but uh, we'll see in a second. The last batch I found that did this, they just kept running. So let's go ahead and get out of the truck and we'll see what they're doing. I actually can't get out of the truck right now. But I assume they're going to be over here at the base trying to cause some trouble. I don't see them inside of here, but uh, normally they do run straight to the base. Are they being weird? I hadn't seen them teleport like that before. Probably going to wish I had stamina here in a second. <laughs> Maybe they're glitched out on the truck. But that's my belief why if you're go logging back in and your base is partially destroyed or something, something's missing, that's why. Maybe we're too far for that group to reach us. Because the last two groups that I've seen run back, they were much closer. Well, I was hoping to show you that, but I'm going to get back to searching. But you did see where they're running up the road headed this way. And for all I know, they're on their way there. They're just teleporting across the top of the mountain and they'll land in the bottom here at some point. We're not going to worry about it. That's on the main base. Like I said, it's a tent base. And we're going to get back to exploring. So as promised, we're over here now by this cave. We're going to go ahead and try to check that out. I think I just, did I just hear something. I don't see anything. So let's go ahead and try to find this cave entrance. Like I said, I've not been to this one, so let's give it a look. See if it's interesting, anything cool like the Firefly Cave or the Staircase Cave. So here's the entrance to it. It's pretty tight. Uh, you could probably lock this off with a couple of fences and a bunch of spike traps. Get the flashlight on so we can see. It looks a lot like the cave we're living in because it's like the same rock formation. Yeah, everything here looks <laughs> pretty much identical to the last cave or our current living quarters. I don't see another way out, and yeah, it almost looks like a mirror image. So that's that cave. Again, that's the one that's closest to the starting point. But of course, I got to talk, and we immediately get attacked. So let's go ahead and handle this guy. So what I was about to say is we're well on our way to exploring the rest of the island that we live on. We're currently located right here. So I went ahead and came down. We went through the cave, made a turn here. There's some loose cars right here, like three or four gathered together. Came up to this spot. Let me zoom in just a little bit. And there's a whole other village here. So I'm going to search this. Maybe we'll get lucky and find our last blueprint tech that we need. Okay, let's go ahead and cover this. So we're still in that same spot. I'll go ahead and show you on the map. Still right here. Now there's like two buildings right there then we have these two cars and inside this little red building here we found another tech page so right here on the shelf let's go ahead and grab that and that should be the water blueprint yep there's the water house blueprint and we are now full of all tech we can now build to our heart's content and that was the goal i'm still going to drive the rest of the way around the roads and go ahead and show off the rest of the towns because the blueprints are completely random they can spawn in any of the villages any of the towns i think they're linked to the houses themselves so if there's a house there, there can be a blueprint there. So hopefully you watch my videos up to this point so you've seen the hidden villages, or the one hidden village I've found. Uh, we're going to still have to go search the island. I don't know if there's anything on that or not. It is a pretty big landmass, so maybe there is, maybe there's not. Who knows? Could just be a great place to build a base that's maybe safe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but hopefully this is going to help all of y'all out. And we'll close this video once we get done driving the rest of the roads and finding all the towns. Still heading up the road. We came up to, we went and went down this road. I didn't see anything of interest while traveling it. So then we made a U-turn, came back, started heading up. And then right here, where we're currently parked, 
we find another little town slash village, whatever you want to call these. So we're going to loot this and see if we find anything else interesting. But I just wanted to note that for anybody who's looking for towns, because like I said, blueprints are random. Uh, the tech pages can be found pretty much in any town from my understanding. So you got to search them all. If you can't find one, it'll be in one of those. Make sure you watch my other video if you can't find one. If you're missing just one or two, it's going to be in the hidden village. I did find one there myself. And like I said, each town has the possibility of giving zero to two blueprints that I've seen so far. Well, we're now up here heading up towards the northern area. We're almost all the way around the map. We've almost gone down every single road. So this is one of the last dead end roads that we've seen. So like I said, we'll keep going up here. I'm sure there'll probably be at least one more warehouse area. So with that, let's go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and jump in here, explore these buildings. If I see anything, I'll let you know. Uh, besides that, uh, probably won't see you again until we start heading back around the top northern side of the road. We're still making our trip around the world. World. <laughs> we've made it this far right here so we were here in this dead end came back down made a left obviously came up here and here's another warehouse district this is usually places where you'd find mike is inside one of these types of buildings uh, he's randomly spawned just like the truck is just like the blueprints just check in the back of these and you'll probably find him at some point so we're going to clear this place out get the truck loaded up it's actually pretty full right now We've cleared so many towns that, uh, yeah, we can't t keep taking much more back. So what we're probably going to do is go ahead and figure out where we're going to build a first starting slash final base and just take the truck there and unload it. So once I get done emptying this place out, I'll see you guys in a little bit if we find another town on our way back to our current base. I did want to note this really quick. So this is the little warehouse there we just cleared out. Now, if you're just hauling through here, searching as fast as you can, trying to find Mike and stuff, make sure that you slow down on the way north. Because right here on the right are a few small houses that you need to search to make sure you don't miss any blueprints because they could possibly spawn in here. So again, just going to clear these out and then I'll see you guys at the next spot. For what seems to be a never ending journey for me, we found another small town hidden on the side of the road. So we came from about somewhere in this area. We're now all the way up here at this, <laughs> the highest peak of the map. And there's a small, what looks like a small town here. There's a couple of houses. I hadn't really searched around it just yet like I normally do. So there's at least a garage, one house, two, three. Oh, it's actually like a whole subdivision. Yeah. <laughs> so there's plenty of stuff to search right here to loot. Let's go ahead and get ready to kill this guy. So if you just stab these guys and kind of circle them, um, they're pretty easy. I think this guy glitched a little bit. But yeah, so this is the next little village that we found. So yeah, it's like a warehouse and these few built buildings here. So I'm going to loot this out. Well, what's the final cave that's currently on the map right above the swamp? We've almost made a full circle since we started but this morning at Crocodiles. <laughs> So in this video, it's going to seem really quick for y'all, but this has taken a few hours to get cover all this so far. Try to make this as fast as I can, as painless as I can, in case anybody's looking for a town, village, or something that they missed. So here's the last cave. Let's check it out. So far, it looks kind of generic like two of the other ones. See if we have any extra entrances on the back. Maybe something nice like Firefly Cave or Staircase Cave. And it looks like it's just going to be the basic one, and I can't find my way out. Oh, there we go. So we're going to continue making our trip <laughs> around the map, around the world. Uh, we've almost done it. We've almost completed it. If we can clear all of this without seeing anything else, we still have some places extra, like in between these canyons to check to make sure there's nothing there. But like I said, I found all my blueprints. I found Mike. I found the truck. There's nothing left for me to discover. We've been inside of every one of the caves. Uh, the only thing left that I really want to do is to go to the big island and this little small island. Just to check them out, make sure there's nothing there. I have to give it to the dev. He's <laughs> he's added quite a bit to the game. So there's another small town here. So far I see a house and a garage. But there's another one right here. Of course an enemy over that way. I'm gonna take care of this guy. We actually need to build another spear. I think we might be out. Yeah, we're totally out of weapons. Let me just go back to the truck. We'll rebuild those. So you can see that there's another small village here. I'll show you where it's at on the map. Take make sure everything's chasing us. But oh, we're being chased. Try to use the bow on this guy. So even the bone arrows don't one-shot them. Now, these guys are really bad about fleeing, so they can run quite a distance. Usually they stop and cower. Come on, buddy, you can at least bleed out. We just lost an arrow. Wait, what? 
It was like his body just disappeared. <laughs> We're not going to go for that arrow. It's 200 meters away. Am I in a different place now? Where's the truck at? Okay, so you can see on the map right above the swamp, there's a little town right here before you get to the cave. Really don't want to fight that guy without a spear. So I'm going to probably try to sneak back to the truck, make another spear with the, all the stuff we've looted, and then we'll clue this village as much as I can because the truck's full and I'm out of space on my person. Well, that's the whole map, everybody, except for the islands like we talked about before. We made the whole circuit. <laughs> we pretty much drove every road again today. We went to every single town, every single cave, except for the ones we'd already been to in the last episodes. Uh, besides that, there may be some stuff lurking around in some of these canyons. We'll slowly but surely make our way through and search every nook and cranny to see if there's anything hidden that we haven't found yet. And then we need to decide where we're going to build our first base Again, I kind of want to build one here just because it's the center of the map. kind of want to build one on the island because it's an island, but I definitely want to build one up here at Firefly Cave. I really like that spot. It's one of my favorites. But as always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll get back to those as soon as I can. I know this episode's probably going to come out pretty short or seem kind of short compared to the amount of time that went into it. I can go ahead and show you we're currently on day 18 at 4.03 a.m. July of summer. I want to say we started on day 15, so yeah, just do the math on that. It's uh, been several hours for me. So hopefully this helps you all out. As always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.